All right, people are freezing outside. People are dying. People are crying, all right? You can see. It's a sad state of affairs, okay? Hello, everybody. Grace and Boys. We're checking out a game for the channel called Ostriv. So Ostriv is a upcoming city management building style of game. Kind of banished, like, you boys know how it is. I'm going to have links in the description below if you want to check it out. Very early right now. This is kind of like an early alpha that the developer has given me access to so I can check it out and kind of show it to you guys. We're going to sit and start with a new game. A couple of different maps over here to choose from. Game's kind of interesting. So how? I'm just going to choose the first map. And then we'll go ahead and pause real quick. The reason why I'm pausing is because this game is freaking brutal. If you do not get your stuff prepared quickly, you will have all manners of population problems. So the way the game works is that it's... I like it because it's, it's much like a very living settlement that we're going to build. People are going to have education levels. They're going to be able to do some jobs, but not all the jobs. All the houses are different, which is really cool. Like, when you build houses for all these people, the houses are different. Like, it's not just a carbon copy house from one to the other. There's no grid system. You can snap if you want, but you can build things however you want. Plenty of rotation, everything else. You have to watch the market. You have to trade with other villages. You've got to have imports and exports and food. And you got to pay people eventually with their wages for them to work and all kinds of crap. Right over here, we're starting with 25 people. And we have to get certain things, like, right off the bat. There's not really a tutorial for this. There's kind of, like, a little indicator about sort of what you should do. It says, build a forestry for wood production. And we are going to do that. One thing I want to get rid of somehow is I'd like to get rid of the uh, cursor to move by the edges. I hate that. I always like turning that off when I can. Anyway, first things first. Over to the production area, we are going to want a forestry building right away we can rotate as we do and you can i'm gonna shove this like as close to the forest as possible right like that so they're gonna get that done this is our materials our stored resources you can see we have like some wood we have some thatch but really not very much two of the things that we're gonna need right away is a thatchery and that forestry center so let's go ahead and get that started we'll get a thatchery done too the thatchery uses reeds from the water so it's good to have it fairly close to, like, a bunch of water and stuff like that, but also fairly close to your village. So I think I'm going to put it, like, maybe right around in between here and here because we're going to want a fishing area, too. Fishing is so good. Oh, it'll feed you big time. Let's, um... So anyway, let's go ahead and grab a thatchery. There it is. Uh, we're going to go ahead and twist this around so that it's facing the rest of our village right about... How do I don't feel like it. Right about there, perhaps. Okay. So we have some outlines of some buildings that need to get done. We can fast forward things along. While that's happening, like I said, no time for lollygagging, man. We got to get stuff done quick. We're going to need another well. So let's go ahead and see if we can get one down over here. Hold on. Let me see if I can kind of... There we go. We need at least two wells. And then we're going to get started right away on housing. And I think the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to have housing, like, over here, maybe. I'm going to have, like, a little, uh, like, maybe, like, a little road or something like that. And the cool thing is people make their own roads, which is pretty slick. I really like that. So I'm going to put this as close as possible to these tents. We're going to have, like, one here. And watch this. It snaps. Check this out. It snaps, and you can kind of, like, manipulate it as you do. So I can give this guy, like, a slightly bigger yard, for instance. Let's go over here. Hire some workers right off the bat so we can start getting wood. And it's not just like the wood appears. These guys literally have to go out and grab it. You're going to notice that people... I'm going to slow things down just a little bit. You're going to notice that people legitimately bring resources over and they lay them down in the work site and then other guys come over and start working. You can see over here it's stalled right now because there's not enough wood. Actually, you know what? I'm going to have like a ton of foresters over here. Actually... Everyone's a forester now because we're going to want a lot of wood. And we can kind of store how much wood and firewood and stuff we have. We don't usually need that much firewood. I think like, I don't know, man, maybe like 135 or something like that. I had like 125 when I was messing around with the game. I never had any problems with it. You see little birds kind of floating around over here? Over inside the forest, is there any woodland creatures? I'm surprised there's no hunting. Like there's no hunter ability that you can assign anyone. Let's go ahead and move things around over here. These guys are going to start beating the ever-living crap out of trees. You can see them bringing them down right now. That's what I like to see. And then they bring them over here, and they turn them 
into legitimate logs. You can see how they line them up. And then they hack them on down. They turn, they turn them into logs, which is pretty sweet. Over here, the thatchery almost done. And when it does get done, we're going to go ahead and assign maybe like two people to it right away. It should get done in just a second over here. Because we need the thatchery to get these village houses done. Alright, let's go ahead and assign like two people right over there. Like I said, I want to get stuff done ASAP. Like, right away. You do eventually need a smithy to build more nails. Because you can see right now we have like 11... 82 nails, but that's quite a lot for a while. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that as is. Let's continue with more houses. I think we're gonna need right around nine houses or so total. Maybe a little bit more. Um, do these snap like this? We need well, I want a little bit of space over here, I do believe. Yeah. We want some space. They're gonna build their own little roads, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna put someone over here. Oh, something else. When you select a house, you can hold down on the shift key. It actually mentions it in the bottom middle portion of the screen right there to place multiple so i think we're gonna go ahead and do that let's give this guy like a really small yard this guy is very sad he's got a tiny yard it's not as good as his neighbor's yard and then we're gonna give this guy like a nice potent looking yard now when it comes to food we don't have to really mess too much with food you basically have enough food for the first year so your first year is legitimately just you building a ton of buildings to get everyone set up to live. So that's kind of what we're doing right now. Okay. So that should be enough buildings for quite some time. We're stalled right now because we can't find clay. So let's go ahead and handle that right away. Over here by production, we can grab a clay pit. And where do I want to put the clay pit at? I think I'm going to put it like over here kind of close to the middle of town. Let's put the entrance though so that it goes straight into the town. Nothing happens with the clay pit. It's it's just it's just made. It's just there. It magically appears. It doesn't take any structure time or anything like that. And each clay pit has 10,000 clay. And that's what the people are going to use in order to build these houses. You can see our resources are dwindling over here. We can deal with it. All right? We can deal with it for now. Like I said, we don't have to worry about food quite yet. Oh, and the other thing that's cool is that there's like legitimate carts and people move the carts around and actually use the resources at the different sites. So they have to go to all these different carts uh, and then grab the cart and then go over to the clay pit and then grab the clay and then take the clay over to the house. I know for some people it's like too much realism, but I really enjoy it. Um, I really enjoy this level of realism. I'm, I'm, having a, I'm having a pretty good time with this game and I'm not very good at it, recognize. I'm still getting there. Oh, the other thing is the organic, the organic, um, roads that are made as these people walk and work and stuff like that and use the carts you're gonna notice that we're ripping up the ground over here i think that's so damn cool i love that over here by the production area uh one of the first things for us to think about is probably the farm um we need a lot of nails and wood for it how much wood do we have as a matter of fact we have a good amount of wood uh we actually have a lot of wood so let's go ahead and grab this, because I do want to get this done. For our farm, I think I'm going to put it maybe like back. We have to watch the terrain as well, because if the terrain's too uneven. It kind of screws everything up. How about like way over here by all, this ho all these houses? The terrain's still pretty uneven. Eh. Let's see. How about, um, how about like right over here maybe? Right over here might be good. I do want area for more housing though, so I think I am going to put it up here. This is what I have to create. Right next to the clay pit. And the fields are going to be out back. I think that the fields are a little bit less annoyed at the uneven terrain. We'll find out soon. How's our thatchery doing? Thatchery's looking good. Got plenty of wood stored up. These guys aren't really doing anything anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some of them. Two should be fine. We have 216 wood. So we are... Yeah, see, work is done. There's nothing else to do. You can get rid of people. You can hire and rehire and fire people to your heart is content. The only thing that you have to make sure of is that you have the right people for the job. So, like, if we click on someone... Let me go ahead and slow these people down so I can legitimate... They're moving so fast. See, this guy has a one of five education, and there are going to eventually be education buildings to get people education. So he can have a legitimate job. People with only a zero education. That guy has a one education. So these people are zeros. So <laughs> that sounds terrible. It's like I'm calling them losers or something like that. They're not losers. But 
The only thing that they can be is laborers. So these are the guys that just bring stuff from point A to point B. Let's go ahead and get these houses set up. All right, so we've got another house over here that's going up. Let's see what it's going to look like compared to our other house. So our first house over here. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. The houses are completely different. I freaking love that. Like, this one has, like, a little wooden patio area, it looks like. Like, half of the house is made with, uh, with one type of material. The other part's made with the other type of material. You got a cool porch over here. These guys get, like, a cool porch with some steps and stuff like that. A little bit of an overhang. Looking freaking sweet. This house is going up pretty quick, which is good. Our thatchery is basically done. Uh, like, we have, we have everything that we need there. We have all the thatch that we're allowed to store in it. The wood is starting to go down. We can hire probably like one other worker over here. That should be plenty to keep us at right around 200 wood for the meantime. If it's not, we can hire more workers. We got plenty of workers right now. If you hover over your people, you're going to see like who's looking for jobs. See how there's five people, seven people looking for jobs right now. It goes in and out because they end up working on the houses. You got to make sure that you have some workers. These people have to be skilled at learning how to work. So over here, we have flour and potato in every house that we make that's actually really important because that's what's going to get us through our first year and then we're going to have to worry about making the farm and the fishing docks over here so that we can start getting some fish we need boats too for our fishermen so we're gonna need a boat yard as well over here in production fishing dock which holds up to three boats and then the uh the boat yard we need we're gonna need both of those over here our lumber guy is keeping up nicely you're gonna see we still have 201 wood well it just went down because they're starting to finish up this house over here so this house just needs some thatch and then boom another house up and like i said check it out like this one has a slightly larger patio on this side um it only has one window over here compared to these two windows this one has like a, I don't know what this is. It's like a little little vase or something like that just sitting over there, kind of looking cool. This one has it as well. Not all of them do, though. And the other thing is, is that everyone's yard is a little bit different. Like, some people plant little trees and things like that that kind of linger around. Some people don't. I don't know. It's just a small thing, but I really enjoy the fact that all the houses are just slightly different. If you wanted to know where the food stockpile is coming from, uh, when the people moved in in their tents over here, they actually have a bunch of stuff with them. You can see they have some potatoes and some flour. So that's where it's coming from. I think that someone's working on our farm right now, too, every once in a while. That's not a big deal. I definitely want to see this stuff getting done, though. Oh, yeah, look at all the workers pouring in over here. This structure is going to be built in no time. And you can see how I was saying, like, there's no time to waste. By December, if you don't have houses for everyone, they're going to leave. You can see it's already July. And, like, we went straight into house building. And we're not even... We're about halfway there. We still have four more houses we have to build. I mean, this one's going to get done in just a second, so then it's going to be only three more. But we're still going to be getting it close to the wire. There we go. The Carco family rolling on up, man. They got a nice big house over here, too. Look at them. Got some, uh, I don't know what sort of little trees and shrubs they're planting over here. Looking freaking sweet. Getting that big staircase that goes up to the front of the house. Looking good. Now, this house over here, I think that this is one of the sad houses. Yes, this is a tiny little house. Very small yard over here. This poor guy couldn't afford it. Although, we're not really charging anyone anything yet. So, I don't really know where the affordability comes in. The other thing that we are going to have to worry about, like I said, not really yet. But I do want to at least maybe get the blueprint prepared. Is a smithy to make nails. Uh, because we're down to 618 right now. And if you run out of nails and you don't have any more to even make the smithy, I'm not really sure what happens. I imagine it's death and sadness for everyone. Uh, the smithy... I think I'm going to put it near the clay pit. In fact, I'm going to put it near the clay pit as close as I can. So there we go. You can drag these around, by the way, and change their priority level for how they get made. And then we can kind of keep a close eye all over here. 618 nails, so we still have quite a few. This house is getting done pretty quick. As a matter of fact, it should be done in just a few seconds over here. Like I said, the laborers have to bring the resources over so that the workers can legitimately start using them. So right now, there's no more resources. The laborer brings the resources over. It's thatch. The workers pour in, and boom, another house done looking different than all the others. So while these guys are building over here, you can see we're already in September. While these guys are building over here, I'll talk about how to get more people in. So obviously you can have the babies, 
But that takes a long time, as we very well know. Especially for them to, you know, grow up so I can put them immediately to work. Uh, so the other thing that you do is what's called migration. If we go over here, we can see the migration status. We have a good water supply. We don't have a market, though, and we don't have enough housing. Which is what we're trying to fix right now. Basically, you're trying to make your village look cool so that people want to come to live there. That's how you get new people. Look at the roadway over here, too. See how everyone's been living here and, like, we're expanding the roadway and it's ripping up all the grass? I freaking love that stuff, man. We're probably going to need at least one more house. Uh, usually houses will fit, like, between two and three people. Uh, because not everyone has children. So let's go ahead and put a house over here. I'm going to lean it inward a little bit, I think. Yeah, I'm going to lean it inward like this over here. So we get another house ready. As a matter of fact, I'm going to move it up here. This is the smithy. We, we're still not really working on it right now. Right now, I'm just kind of worried about getting enough housing as we move into September. Like I said, we do have to get it done before December. All right, over here, the ninth house is going up. You can see how quickly our nail supply dwindled down, man. Down to 318 nails. So it's definitely good that we're starting to work on this smithy over here. It's about, what, like maybe like one-fifth of the way done? We still don't have enough houses for everyone. We're coming through October here. That means we're going to have one month left to get enough houses done. Um, 284 nails. I'm trying to think about if I want to get this smithy done before I try the last house. I'm hoping that this house over here gives us the final house that we're going to need, but I don't think it will. Uh, it'll, it'll say when we... Oh, stalled. What else do we need? Can't find wood anywhere. So we have run out of wood. How do you like that? Okay. Go ahead and start cutting down more wood, my man. We need a lot more wood. We ended up burning through all the wood pretty quickly, actually. I'm kind of surprised at all that. But we have been building, like, all the time. So it does make sense. In fact, I'm going to get a ton of people working on wood right now. I want wood freaking now. So 15 wood. Wood is back in command. And now you can see it being moved over here. This is going to finish this house up, no doubt. Waiting for only two wood. So it really didn't take that much. It just took a little bit. But I do want to get our wood stores back up. So right now, 20, 30 wood. Okay, good. So the wood stores are going up very, very quickly. Giving people seasonal jobs like that, from what I've seen in this game, is like a really good idea. Because like I said, people will burn through stuff very, very quickly. What are you guys doing over here? You guys working on the smithy? Yeah, you sure are. Smithy's almost done, though. There we go. There's another house done. So let's go ahead and pause real quick because it looks like we do need more houses. So we need at least one more house. Uh, how many nails do I have right now? 284. We should have enough to put another house down. Um, I'm going to move this. I'm going to move it in a little bit, kind of like right about like that right there. All right, let's go ahead and get that done. Get everyone moving yet again. The smithy's coming along. It's just taking a little bit over here. How's our wood stockpile looking? Wood stockpile's at 11. Okay. So, definitely good to have had this many people working in the forestry area. You can see, once they're done getting wood, they'll kind of go and start moving to work on the houses and stuff like that. Man, can we get this house built in time? I'm not sure if we can. I'm moving it around. It's not a big deal. You can put anything on pause. If you don't want to, like, build it right now, you can pause it. It's no big deal, but you can also change the priority this way. So, I may even want to... How many nails left? 284. I may even want to change the priority like this. You are running out of nails. I need to build a smithy. I know. I know. But first things first. If I can get at least most of my people housed so the fewest possible people leave, that would be fantastic. Because we are almost out of November right now. Everyone is working their ass off trying to get this house built big time. Uh, can't find wood anywhere. So wood is actually our big problem right now. Come on, guys. Get that house built. Everyone keep working. Everyone keep... We're running out of time. We are seriously running out of freaking time on this house. Guys, get her done, man. Get her done. Come on. We're going to lose people. Oh, no. Oh, we're going to lose some people. There's nothing I can do about it. I got a lot of houses done, too. But it, I don't think it's going to end up being enough. Um, man, this house is almost done, too. I don't know how quickly people start to leave, either. We still have our 25 people. It's just a matter of whether or not the workers get the hell over here and start working on this house. Could we please get people working on this house? I would be very satisfied if everyone would start working on this house. How many nails do I have right now? 184, so plenty amount of nails. Just need workers over here. People that are skilled enough. 
to erect a house. There's a lot of materials laying around over here. There we go. There we go. Yes, workers. File in. File in, workers. Where'd you guys go? Where'd my workers go? You guys are all gone. I need you guys over here building this freaking house. This house needs to get built now. All right? People are freezing outside. People are dying. People are crying, all right? You can see. It's a sad state of affairs, okay? There we go. The smithy just got done, and another house is done. We do have housing available. Thank you, God. I'm going to go ahead and put one dude over here in the smithy. Uh, we probably don't need this many people working here now. Uh, in fact, we should be good for a little while. So the next thing's next. And that's to finish up the farm over here. Let's go ahead and continue this for right now. But now the smithy's working. You're going to watch. He's going to start taking the iron. And he's going to start pouring out the nails. You see right now he's making 10 nails, which is good. We're going to have to get that done. And then we're going to start worrying about... Actually, you know what? I'll probably do it right now. Let's go ahead and start on a boatyard. Uh, because we do need that. Now, you're going to notice it flitters all around the watering area, which is pretty cool. So, we'll put this kind of in line with our reed, our thatchery over there. We're going to put that right around there. So that they get done with that. And I'd like to get this farm done before the sowing season comes. And I think we're going to start right off with some potatoes. Uh, potatoes should work out pretty good. And right now it's January. I think they start planting in March, if I remember correctly. And we're probably going to want like a 15 size potato field or something like that. We can also do wheat. And you also have to like rotate your crops, which is kind of cool about this game. So you can't just put that, you can't just put down the same field over and over and over again. You can also assign a manager, but when our village is this small, I'm not really worried about it right now. So we still have no market, which is fine. We need to worry about the food problem first. So let's, let's get this up and then let's get the fishing thing up. We can also sell the potatoes and just use the fish as food, which is totally fine. And we'll probably make a market like right over here by the houses because everyone will pass by it anyway. So this way they can go ahead and use it. And you can see too, in the winter like this, the snow legitimately cakes itself on everything. People walk, make little paths in the snow. It's pretty cool. We can't fish uh, in the wintertime and you can't farm in the winter time so right now is a fantastic time to start getting all this building done all right farm just got done actually let's go ahead and slow things down to like normal speed all right so over here you could order a plow but we don't have any oxen yet so let's go ahead and add a field um and i want like a big ass field out back here so we're gonna do like one over here and then like not too long so let's do like one over here and then Oh, we actually need to move it a little bit further away. So we can right-click and stop stuff when we're making it. So I want it as long as possible. So right about like that. And then output... I don't know. Um, Maybe 20 will be okay. I was thinking like 15, but maybe 20. Let's do that for right now. Uh, what kind of field do we have over here? This is actually a pretty decent field. Uh, it has 100 of everything right now. We're going to want potatoes, though. Each item requires a different level of fertility. So you can see hemp, for instance, requires 69% uh, of the blue, but only 10% of the red. Potatoes are pretty simple to make, so 40, 30, 0. And then wheat is decent as well, 50, 60. Sunflower makes sunflower oil, which is fantastic for um, when we start doing trading and stuff like that. Women... I don't know why, but women love working the farms. So every, it's like every time I go to get people working the farms, it's always the ladies. I decided I want to make another field. I don't know how many people it's going to take to farm all this land, but we actually have quite a few people right now. Well, like I said, 25 is pretty good. Um, So I've got one for wheat and one for potatoes. Oop, this just got done. Let's go ahead and pause things right now. Because now we can go ahead and throw a worker over here. Although I don't think he'll do anything until we get the... Until we get the fishing area up. So let's go ahead and put the fishing area right next to the boat yard. Like basically as close as we can. Right about like that. There we go. So now people start working on that. What are we doing for resources right now? 81 wood. Okay. 242 nails. So our one smith has actually been doing fairly well. Do I need people here right now? Probably not. Because I, like I said, I don't think that they can do anything until technically March. Uh, we are moving through February though. So that's not terrible. If we go over here, what type of... Looking for jobs. Six women, huh? Alright, what happens if I throw, like... Wow, like, all the women come over here. Look at this. 
Like, all the women are totally fine farming. So, sure, why not? You know what? We're coming out of February. That's totally fine. I noticed that too. You'll never see any workers or laborers uh, working on the housing or any of the construction process. But maybe that's true to history. I don't, I don't know 100%. You'd figure almost everyone would be working so that no one has to die. But, I mean, who am I to say? If we look at all these houses, we can see everyone has 1.12. All right, so they still have quite a bit of flour and potato, so no one's going to, like, insta-die or anything like that. But we want to get everything set up before the next year, I would say. February's coming to an end. It's kind of cool, too, because you can watch the entire place thaw out. You're going to notice the water is now shimmying again. So the water has thawed out. So this is perfect. Like, once this gets done, what do we need for this? Oh, we need more wood. Um, let me put another guy over here. Actually, you know what? Let me put two more guys over here. We'll get some wood done real fast, because after this thaws, I want this, like, ready to go. I want fishing ready. Over here in the farming area, laborers starting to pour on in, which is friggin' great. The laborers are really good at work in the fields. And you can click on a field, and you can see how well sowed it is at any given time. So you can see right over here, this one's getting sown pretty quick. We don't have a plow. Plow uh, increases fertility. So we can't really do that right now. And we can switch these crops up. So next season, we can do potatoes over here and wheat over here, for instance. And maybe that'll help things out. Over here, waiting to get this done. It has a bunch of stuff stored. Wood starting to pour back out, which is really important. Our thatch slowly going up. We used a little bit of thatch. I think we still only have like one thatch guy. One thatch guy has been like plenty. That has worked out absolutely perfectly. But yeah, I want to get I want to get this done. We've got wood stored in here for, so that when we're ready to get boats, we can get those done right away. Let's see, this should almost get done. Maybe like a little bit more wood. And then our, our dock will be prepared. Dropping some more wood and thatch and nails off. So they're working over here. This should be done in just a second. While this is doing it, you can go over to trade and transport. You're going to notice there's a trading post. This is pretty slick. Uh, we can use this for trading with other cities. Let's go ahead and stop real quick, though. I want maximum fishermen. And I want three boats ordered. And we'll put one more worker over here as well. Start building those boats, boys. Start building those boats. Build the living crap out of those boats. While that's happening, let's go over here. And we'll put a market stall down right by all these different houses and stuff like that. So that everyone can enjoy trading at the market stall. We'll put one, like, right about... Right off the pathway. Like, right about here, I think. And that gets erected very, very quickly. So there's no big deal. We can stuff someone in there. And we can start moving, let's say, fish over there. This way, as our fish... Oh, there we go! Our fisherman is out! He's freaking doing his thing! Okay, so... We have two more boats that are getting ready. What's going on over here? Oh, they're going to work! Okay, so they're gonna be... They're gonna be putting this boat together. Let's do them hammer away! <laughs> Woo! That's what I... Oh, you can watch them build the boat! They're legit... They legitimately build the boat, and then they flip it all around here. So that the fishermen can have a thing that is so cool. Over here, I wonder if, I wonder what happens if, like, I get rid of one of these workers. Can a, can a woman be a fisherman? Because right now, all I have is men. That's all guys. I'm going to take one of the guys off of here, so hopefully I can get, like, two fishermen. There we go. That's what I want. How much wood do we have? 120 wood? That's actually pretty good. Let's go ahead and get rid of one more woodcutter guy. There we go. Now we have three fishermen. The last boat is getting made, and once this boat is made, we can fire these two guys, quite honestly. Um, because we're not going to need them anymore. So let's go ahead and wait until that boat gets over there. There we go. They're going to store this place up with wood, just in case. And then we can fire these two guys. Actually, I could probably fire them right now. Um, unless I want to wait for them. Yeah, I'll, I'll let them put wood in there. There we go, they put the wood in there. Alright, you guys are fired. Go ahead and do something else. I don't know what. Now, you can only store three boats here. But you can have up to five fishermen. That's kind of interesting. So I don't know if you don't need boats specifically to have fishermen. What's going on over here? We trading some fish? Oh, we sure are. Oh, yeah. Um, no jobs available and not enough food for sale. So we need more food for sale. I can make more jobs available, man. Um, like, I can put two more jobs over here. I can put another job over here. Trust me. We, we got work for everyone, okay? If I want to put people to work, I sure can. Over here, our crops starting to grow. Oh, you know what we're going to want? Hold on. I'm going to want this right now. We're going to want a sweet windmill. 
right next to the farm. Right here. There we go. We're going to want a windmill so that when the uh, so that when the wheat gets harvested, we can turn it into flour. Over here, everyone working hard, fishing, looking friggin' sweet. We have two other spots for more fishermen, but I think we're fresh out of fishermen. Uh, not enough food for sale. Okay, so we still don't have enough food for sale right now. I don't really know how much food it takes. So I don't know how much a single market can hold either. But once we get potatoes and wheat, we can start putting... Or uh, potatoes and flour. We can start putting that in here as well. In fact, we can do that now. Flour. And then we can do potato. There we go. So now it's ready for flour and potato. I'm going to put another market down. Because I figure why not. Let's put one more market. It doesn't really take anything. Um, to do it. So let's go ahead. Now is it facing the right way? I want it facing this way. And I'm going to have it like right next to this other one. Right off the beaten path. Here I'll try and even put it somewhat similarly. Right about there. There we go. So let's go ahead and put one of those down. Get a lady in there. We'll put more fish over here. And then we'll also do potatoes and flour as well. There we go. Now, I don't know if that's going to be enough. Okay, so still not enough food available for sale. 25 people's pretty good. Like, I'm not super worried about this right now. Growth is working pretty good. We're in May. Over here, we have a lot of fish being stored, which is freaking awesome. Now, are people buying the fish? You can see, too. It's kind of cool. There's, like, legitimate fish over here sitting out for sale for anyone who wants it. The different houses we can click on, we can see flour, potatoes, flour, potatoes. It's like everyone's working through all their potatoes and flour first before they want to eat the fish. Eat the fish, guys. This fish goes bad, man. I mean, it's, it's, this is fresh. It's like as fresh as you can possibly get. You might as well start eating. It. I'm going to go ahead and put a manager over here. Um, the manager, I think, will rotate our crops as needed. So I'm kind of curious what they do. That's interesting. It's a male manager with a bunch of female farmers. Hmm. What does it all mean, folks? What does it all mean? I don't really know. Over here, 2.1 fish are stored, reserved, and then awaiting. So what happens to the last guy? Like I said, we have four people here. He's working. I don't really know what he's working on. Some guys are resting. I know one of the items over here is dried fish. I thought maybe you could put dried fish, like what, like the guys that are left that aren't fishing start drying the fish or something like that, but it doesn't appear that happens. Oh, we just got more people. Holy crap. Not enough housing available. Okay, so we need to start working on housing. You can see we just got 20, we're at 29 now. So some people thought that our place is cool enough to live. That's pretty slick, man. Um, let's go ahead and put down another house then. Uh, let's go ahead and rotate it so that it's facing the right direction first. There we go. Let's put it right over here. This one's going to be a slightly smaller house. I'm going to move it back a little bit. I'm going to put it right about like that there. There we go. So that should start doing well. Over here, no one has worked on the windmill yet. Um, I think it's because we have too many workers doing other stuff. So I'm actually going to like get rid of a couple people over here like this. And then see if we can get some people... Yeah, see, it's, it's looking for laborers. So right now, we have, like, no laborers doing anything. Guys, could you work on the windmill so this crap can get done, please? I set the laborer limit down here, down to 11. It was at 20. I set it at 11. I wonder if I could set it, like, even lower. Like, if I bring it down to 7, could I have them work on this instead? Because I want this windmill done. This stuff's getting ready. I mean, like, the ripeness is going up over here. Once I see people flying over to the fields... I can probably start assigning them to it. Everything's looking pretty good. Everything's looking pretty good. This should get done in just a second over here. Actually, the next time that a worker comes over, this will get done. And the cool part is, is that it's going to be ready for the season. Yes, good. Good. So now this is almost done over here. The ripeness is going up, going up, going up. And it'll be harvest time pretty soon. We're going into uh, August over here. Another house being made laborers working hard and i don't know i could probably bring the laborer number up if i want to how much fish do we have right now we should have quite a bit of fish 5.2 fish so the fish floweth like freaking wine over here there is fish everywhere although no one's really using it again i'm looking over here by the flour and everything everyone's still using flour we have some iron being stored we got our mare over there oh here we go laborers are starting to tend the fields there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Harvest all that stuff. I'm going to want someone in here 
to start turning all the flour, or uh, all the grain into flour, all the wheat into flour. Over here, these areas should start getting potatoes fairly soon. I don't know if the potatoes are fully gathered yet. Over here, we're doing the gathering for the potatoes. I think they actually have to pick them up. Like, you're going to notice there's like little bushels and stuff like that. But I think they legitimately have to grab it and bring it into storage for it to count. So we do have to wait for that. Another house is going up. Hopefully that'll help with our housing problem. You can see not enough housing is ready. We're going into August. Oh man, this was a lot of fields. I uh, I had no idea. It was quite so many fields. We have a lot of laborers that are starting to move in over here though. I could probably open this up to one more person. There we go. Yes, good. Six fish now, and now the potatoes are starting to friggin' move big time. That's what I'm talking about. Now I just have to figure out how I can get someone over here into this windmill to start working. We're at 32 people now. Um, so we're gonna have to worry yet again about more housing. As a matter of fact, I may have, like, too many houses. I, I may, well, you know what? I'm gonna build one more house. I'm gonna build one more house for right now. Let me go ahead and see if I can stretch this in such a way that it lines up right about like that and I think that's where we'll stop in the meantime so for right now I just have to worry about getting the people that I need for the windmill area oh check this out so the migration status enough food is now for sale so we legitimately have enough food now that's pretty slick I still want to get I still want to get this done um, but there's still a lot of laborers that are like bringing in all the uh, the wheat and stuff like that So let's see if we can get them done. They should start leaving of their own accord And there we go. Okay, so they're all done So now if I get rid of if I get rid of some of you people for instance If I go over here and I like get rid of you and you Will someone come to work inside of this? How about if I put two spots open for this? They're finishing up a house something else. We got to look into eventually is trading if we go over here Click on the world map. You're going to see this is our city over here, but there's another city over here, another city over here, and another city over here. We can trade with these people. Um, we don't have a trading post yet, but we would send a messenger there, and they would go and talk with those people, and basically that's how we would start getting trade open. And that's pretty slick, man, because then we can start selling maybe like some of our potatoes or our fish or something like that and get, get a nice plow, get... Uh, Get some oxen and stuff like that because we need oxen in order to be able to plow these fields And once we start plowing man The freaking nutrient level is gonna go through the roof. Oh Here we go. It's happening. Yes Oh, and the windmill is doing its freaking thing. That's what I'm talking about Uh, No jobs available right now. I can probably go ahead and put another job over here. Actually, I'll put a bunch of jobs over here uh, I'll open one up for the smithy. I think our thatchery guy has still been like working his freaking tailbone off So he's working just fine over here flower getting made Total resources kind of down. Uh, let's go ahead and put another Opening over here for the uh, the wood the woodlands area And then I can put another couple of slots over here. It's not really a big deal like I said, but yeah, man Things are going pretty freaking good. We got wheat Starting to pour out uh, We got potatoes just a ton of potatoes. We don't have enough housing, but that's fine I actually don't want to get any bigger right now. This is plenty and we are starting to turn the wheat into flour and the flour is going over to the market stall and It's being sold to the populace pretty friggin sweet man. Let's go ahead and slow things down so we can look at our village in real time I have been speeding along big time our house is looking sweet it's October, so all the leaves change in all the foliage by the houses. I think that's pretty cool, man. And our city has really become something else, man. I mean, we got we got fish going on over here. We don't really need anyone in the boatyard right now because we've maxed out our fishing. But our farming has been fantastic. We probably don't even need these women here. I don't know. I don't think that they're doing anything right now. We could. I don't know where else I'd use them, though. Like, they would be in the market stalls and stuff like that. But I'm not sure what else they would be doing. We've got plenty of nails. Lord knows. Got 740 nails. Uh, the wood is okay. We could probably use a little bit more wood. I think these guys over here are starting to work pretty hard. And we've got all the food that we want. We did it. We got a successful settlement for the most part. Guys, what do you think of Austrip? 
I, I really want to get into the trading portion of it. I think that the trading portion of this would be so cool to look into. Feel free to let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below. Again, links in the description if you want to check it out. Thanks to the developer for letting me check it out early. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.